In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an email list and set up a campaign for the email list. So when you want to create an email list on Aweber, the first thing you got to do is log into your Aweber's account. And once you're on Aweber's account, just go to the top left corner and click this and go all the way down to create a new list. And here you just type your company name and it's optional if you want to add your website or not and then choose the address and click next and I'm gonna call this test three description test three and then here choose the name and email address you want to send from so I'm gonna put my name and I have an email address that's set up already and then click next choose the language and here choose the approved subject line when you know they sign up and here on the subject line I'm gonna leave it at please confirm your request for information and then I'm gonna come down here and just click create list That's it, now you have your list created, test three. So what we're going to do now is to start a campaign. Okay, so now we have the email list ready. It's called test three, obviously for testing purposes, just to illustrate. So now your job is to create a campaign that will send out a series of emails when somebody purchases your product or signs up on the email list and um, the way to do it is first of all once you're logged into a Weber make sure your list is selected for me is test 3 it's selected and then once it's selected go down to messages and here you can create messages or emails that you will later on connect to your campaign section. So um, this is where all the, the emails are being written and created. And then later on you will add them to the campaign. So it's easy to create one. You just click here, create a message and it's a drop and drag email builder. I'll show you how it looks. So this is the uh, the email that the email builder that comes with um, Aweber. So you just construct and build your email. Here, subject line. Just let's say it's a welcome email. Welcome to you know, just for example, and then here you write your message. You can add images to it you upload it an image from your computer or you can choose one from your gallery you know this is just for demonstration so I'm just going to create something that is irrelevant to it's not a real product and here you can link to your website or you can link to your next product, the product that you're trying to promote if you're promoting any product or if this is a welcome email, then you don't need to link to anything. You just keep it the way it is. Um, once you've created your email, then you, you can just save and exit and this is your draft email. Later on, you can use this email as part of your campaign. So now I have the emails that I need that are ready here. I'm gonna proceed 
to the campaign. So the way you do it is, you know, go to automation and then campaign. Once you click on it, you'll have a list of campaigns that you've created. But if you haven't created any campaigns, you will see this page. Um, now it's simple and easy. You can create a campaign. You can watch this video that will teach you on how to set up a campaign or what the campaign is. But if you just want to stick with this video, then I'll show you, you know, the sh basically the shortcut of doing it by saving you maybe a little bit of time. So you click on create campaign and then you get to choose whether you want to work on a blank campaign or welcome series. If you know, if you want to welcome some somebody to your brand, to your company, then you can create a welcome series or you can um, choose this blog automation, YouTube automation, lead magnet. So these are all pre-made templates for you, um, but you can build one from scratch. I normally like to build one from scratch. It gives me more flexibility to what I'm doing. So I click on select. So once you do that, you come to this page, welcome to the campaign editor, select a trigger to begin building your campaign. Basically a trigger is something that triggers the campaign and it can be triggered in two different ways. Um, it could be triggered if a subscriber gets added to the list. In this case, it's test three list that we created, or you can choose to trigger a campaign by choosing tag applied. So this one is if they subscribe automatically, they will get these email series or you can choose tag applied and that will trigger the campaign based on the tag applied method. I like to choose this method. So I'm going to click on this. So on this side here, you get to see actions that you can add and it's a, you know, drag and drop as you, as you can see, you can add them, you can remove them. So you have send messages, you have wait, which is the waiting period, waiting block one day, two days, and then you have, you can apply another tag and you can also check feed. Um, so the way I do it is basically we're, we're here at this first stage. So this campaign gets triggered when somebody buys a product. So if you remember, in the previous video that I made the product, I named it test three. So this campaign will be triggered once somebody gets assigned with this tag and they will be getting assigned with this tag if they buy product three, which is the video that I created with the landing page. So, what this tells a Weber, as soon as somebody, a subscriber on email list test three gets tagged with a test three tag, then a number of actions will take place and we will decide what the next action is. Once it gets triggered, the first action, I like to, you know, welcome them with a welcome email. So you can just grab one here, the email or send a message and then drag it and drop it right below um, the start of campaign. So this means that's the next action. So you can create a message from scratch or you can choose a message. And uh, we created a fake welcome email that you can just select in this case. So I'm going to select the welcome email just to welcome people that just purchased this product. And in this welcome email, if they purchase the product, may, maybe give them information on where they can find the product, um, maybe a link to their members area or Google Drive, a link to Google Drive where you have the course, whether it's a written documents or videos. Uh, so yeah, you can give them more information. Once you do that, you need to decide the next action. And in this case, I like to add a waiting time before the next action takes place. That's if, if I have another email coming in, I don't want to, you know, bombard them with emails. So I'll, I'll, I'll schedule a waiting block and I can decide here. Once I drop it, you click on it, you, you get to decide, you know, the specifics of how long they should wait and whatnot. So, um, 
Here it says perform next action in I like to leave it at one day, so one day after. And then, now I need to decide the next action. So if I have a series of emails or if I have a different product that I like to promote, then I like to send them one day after they receive their welcome email, an email about the upsell or the new product that they can purchase. In this case, I have a few emails here, templates that I can choose from just for the sake of this example. So let's say I have this product that I wanna promote. I have created the email, so I'm just gonna select it. Now they're gonna get the promotion to this product in a campaign series, in a series of emails. Now they will get this email sent to them a day after. So here I'd like to specify the next action. You know, if you have more emails and you don't wanna send them all at once, you add another waiting time. Maybe this time you decide, you know, you wanna send it after two days, I don't know. I like to keep it after one day for simplicity. And then I get to schedule the next email. I just drop it here and then choose from a template. You can also create from scratch, but we're choosing the last one here. And then once they get the last email, I would like to assign a tag. So apply tag. And this tag is basically to specify that they've gone and finished, that they have been through this campaign so that they don't get emails over and over again or they don't get enrolled in this campaign again. So um, here, I'd like to add end test three. So what this what this tag will tell a Weber, it will tell them that once they get once they finish this process of getting all these emails, then in the seventh action or seventh step, apply tag end test three. Okay. So apply end test three tag to the user. And here you can choose to remove whatever tag you want them to remove. So in case you want them to remove test three, then you add test three and then automatically, once they get to this step, they get end test three added to them. And then test three tag that we applied at this step here, first step will get removed. But I don't recommend that. I like to keep, I like to know what, what people purchased when they buy a product from us. So by leaving the product name, it's easy for us to track whoever bought what. So I'm going to remove this test three and I'm only going to apply end test three. But to ensure that the person does not get more emails from this campaign. I'm going to go back to action number one here and I click on it. Here I'm going to add end test three. So what this will tell a Weber is that they can start this campaign when this tag gets applied to the user. So when the user purchase a product called test three, this campaign will be triggered, except when the subscriber already have one of these tags and test three. So this is just to ensure that once they go through the steps and they get the end tag applied to them, they won't be receiving more emails from this campaign different time. So this is basically how you use um, Aweber campaigns to create a series of emails. So once we do that, we can name the campaign up here. We're going to name it test three campaign to keep it consistent with the product, the email list and save it. Once you do that, you go to <clears throat> You go back to automation campaign. And then you see your campaign here. You just activate it. Now the campaign is active. If somebody 
goes to this page and fill out this information and buys a product which is test 3 product they will be tagged with the product name test 3 which will trigger this campaign and then they will receive which will trigger this campaign test 3 and they will receive a series of emails before another tag is being applied which will tell a Weber that the person has already been through all these emails and they won't email him or her again. Thank you for watching the video. Please let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. I'll be happy to help you with them and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.